It's time to meet this week's KidCaster, brought to you by Qualys Electronics. And it is KidCaster Day. It is back after taking a summer vacation, and of course with the new school year, KidCaster is back. And we've got a great kid to kick off KidCaster this year, and so go ahead. As we always do, we let the kid introduce themselves, so tell everybody who you are and where you go to school. My name is Kimberly Cherno, and I go to Xavier Charter School. All right, and what grade are you in? Fifth grade. And who's your teacher? Miss Hall. All right, do you like your teacher? Yes. All right, now why did you want to be Kid Caster? It's always been my dream to be on TV, and I love science. And any particular science you like? Meteorology. Good answer. Circle gets a square. All right, we are seeing, uh, having a lot of fun, and are you excited about being here? Yes. All right, and you're already having your part of your dream to be on TV. Is it everything you wanted it to be? Yes. So far, all right. That's a good way to start things off. Let's kind of slide this way just a little bit. And you can see here, what's the temperature and conditions in Twin Falls right now? 73 degrees and sunny. And you like the sunny skies, don't you? Yes. All right. You don't like it too hot or too cold, huh? No. All right. This has been pretty good for it, haven't you? Let's take a look at a few more temperatures. And what's the temperature right now up in uh, Haley? Let's kind of walk this way. There we go. What's the temperature up in Haley? It is 73 degrees. And down and around Burley? 71 degrees. All right, it's pretty nice out there, but the winds are pretty strong, aren't they? How fast in miles per hour are those winds going up towards Haley? 10 degrees, 10 miles per hour. <laughs> That's all right, and over towards Jerome? 18 miles per hour. And it's pretty breezy across to, uh, Twin Falls, isn't it? How fast is the wind there? 20 miles per hour. Yeah, you have to kind of hold on. You see your hair is all kind of done up, so it looks very nice. So let's take a look at what we have forecast-wise for everybody tonight. Tell them. It is 42 degrees, mostly clear and chilly. Are you going to have an extra blanket to make sure you're nice and warm tonight? Yes. All right. Well, you did a great job. Did you have a lot of fun doing this? Yes. All right. And if you ever want to sign up for KidCaster, we're kicking off a brand new year. Just go to kmvt.com slash KidCaster. All you have to do is sign up. Thanks a lot, Kimberly. Back to you. This is your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Brian Newdorf. Well, you think it's been chilly around here, but over the last few days up in parts of Canada, Calgary, Alberta, Canada there, you're seeing snow in summertime causing power outages and problems. So it could always be worse when you're dealing with some of these chilly temperatures. I don't know about you, though. Some people like it hot. Some people like it cool. I kind of like it where it's at, and it's only going to get a bit cooler over the next few days. So here's what we see. Your weather advisories Thursday night into Friday morning, possible freezing with temperatures down to 28 to 32 degrees. This is a freeze watch. This includes uh, Lincoln County, which is Shoshone, Burley and Minidoka, Rupert. So uh, if you have sensitive plants tomorrow night into Friday morning, uh, you might want to take precautions. And although it's in that general area, some frost in the Magic Valley is also a concern. Look at these cold temperatures just throughout parts of Montana. When it wasn't just Canada, I had pictures out of North Dakota and Montana where there was a little bit of snow. And Great Falls yesterday had snow showers. But Helena, Montana, 42 degrees. But on the other side, Stanley there, 63. We are pretty pleasant at the Magic Valley Regional Airport in Twin Falls, 74 and 95 degrees. Las Vegas satellite and radar. There's a storm system pinwheeling right through there. And yes, we're bringing up the colors. There they are, blue. It represents snow. A little pink represents that wintry mix. We're high and dry thanks to a large area of high pressure, and it's going to stay that way. But temperatures drop a few more degrees as we go into your Thursday. Here's a look at that weather map with a large area of high pressure. Cold stays on the divide north of that. We are what I like to call comfortably cool. It may not be quite summer like, but we're looking at upper 60s and the winds may die down just a little bit. So things are going to look pretty nice for your Thursday. And as far as the temperatures, how cool will it be tonight? You're ranging 38 from Haley, 42 Jerome. Twin Falls over towards uh, Burley, 46 and 41. Let's take you through the afternoon. Probably not even going to get the, the 70s. We're looking at mid to upper 60s and 50s. Yes, not even getting to 60 degrees for you and Haley in the Wood River Valley. Look how cold. Look at these 30s going into Friday. So I definitely want to make sure you protect those plants. I think even Twin Falls has a chance of being at least in the mid to upper 30s while no frost advisories at this point. That may change going into your Friday morning and then we're a little warmer. We're going to get back into the low 70s, so things should look nice Friday. And if you're longing for the 80s, well, we got something for you in the weekend. So tonight, 34 degrees, clear, cold and brisk for the Magic Valley down to 42, clear and cold. Bit of a breeze here this evening, 10 to 20 miles an hour at time. And for the Minicasha region, again, a bit breezy here this evening. Otherwise, down chilly, 
40 degrees. Tomorrow, Wood River Valley, sunny skies and cool. 56 can catch them for a high. 58 Haley, yes, these are high temperatures. Another chilly day in the western Magic Valley. Lots of 60s. Shoshone, 63. Jerome, 65. For Twin Falls County, 66 Twin Falls, Murtaugh there at 64, a bit brisk at times with the wind, but not as bad. Sunny and breezy, 62 degrees, Rupert, 60, Albion, plenty of sunshine. Your Middlecoff Auto Group 7-day forecast, that's not going to last, 73 Friday, 80 Saturday and Sunday, and we warm things up into the early part of next week. And then for the mountains, yeah, 60 on Thursday, 66 Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 74, 78, getting closer to 80 by Monday and Tuesday. And there's a look. At your next seven days. Flickr account, the image has gone viral with over 60,000 views. <laughs> that's kind of funny. It is, you know, yeah. the kid doesn't realize and that's going to be shown later on in life. And be like, that's right. Yeah, that's, do you remember that one time went to the me. White House? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Cool temperatures tonight, right? Yeah, it's going to yeah. be chilly. Have you enjoyed these cool temperatures? No. No. no? Okay, <laughs> well, we had a great job here by uh, Kimberly, so right. you did a good job, didn't you? Mm -hmm. uh, did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. And who do you want to say hi to real quick? I want to say hi to two of my friends, Karma and Sabrina. All right. All right. Well, you did a great job, and it is going to be chilly temperatures tonight, ranging from the uh, 30s to the 40s here in the valleys. And it's going to be even colder as we head into Friday morning, so be prepared. All right. That'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tonight at night.